What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBASafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Bugs, back with another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today, we got some new content, we got some market talk, all that good stuff. Before we get into the video, make sure to smash that sub button, drop the like, and all that good stuff. Let's get 120 likes in this video. I'll do some empty giveaways on Twitter. If you don't know my Twitter, it's at your Bugs. We're also selling MT on there. So if you guys want MT, hit me up, Xbox, PS4, whatever. So yeah, um, I'm bidding on these cards now. Because I, I think the auction house glitch is going to come. So if that does come, it is literally, we're going to make so much MT if we get these cards. And also, I want to tell you guys this. So pretty much, Eddie Curry is the best card in the game. Um, If you didn't see the gameplay, I would check it out. This card is absolutely incredible. I can't believe they made this card this good. I versed Lamar Odom in the gameplay. He destroyed him. Um, I versed Lamar Odom and, Kurt and Eddie Curry in the gameplay. And uh, let me tell you something. This Lamar Odom is definitely worth it. I'm not even going to say he isn't. He's insane. He greened a lot of shots with him. He has a very good jump shot. Very fast. Very silky. But let me tell you one thing. Eddie Curry is going to replace Dino Raja. And let me tell you why. First off, his jump shot is butter. I, I can't believe how good his jump shot is. So I added him to my squad. He is definitely on the squad. He's absolutely incredible. But yeah, let's get us some market talk. I would recommend staying away from these packs. So far, I pulled Georgie. And that is about it. I didn't pull anything else other than Georgie. We also have the Danny Granger impacts, which is pretty cool. But uh, yeah, let me tell you, Eddie Curry is a god. And uh, we just got this, I think maybe Swaggy P in this. Looks like, oh, uh, that's not Swaggy P. It's probably in B because I get them every pack. Yeah, so let's get into some market talk. I just wanted to pop some packs for you guys. I probably pulled about 10 of these bad boys, maybe even like 15 of these bad boys. They're kind of stink. I did make most of my money back because I did pull Georgie and sell them for a good amount. So... Yeah, um, let's talk about some gameplay. Let's talk about some markets. So right now, what you should be doing, if you didn't sell your cards yesterday, it's really okay. All I'm, no, I'm saying is, right now to make MT, there's a lot you should be doing. First off, what's going to happen is there's probably going to be a little market crash, nothing too crazy, but also, this is the thing. Now, if you did not sell your cards, now is a, I wouldn't say now is a good time to do so. I would say either tomorrow or Sunday is a good time to sell cards because honestly, there's a lot going on. There's new Opals. There's new pink diamonds. Now, Eddie Curry probably is literally better than something I want to pay attention to. First off, if you're not, if you want to snipe something very worth it, I would say hop on the Eddie Curry snipe filter or the Georgie Mercy filter because, yo, these cards are so OP. I can't believe they gave Eddie Curry this card. He's so freaking good. And I think his price might sit around like 100K soon, maybe even more. I, I think his rarity is definitely higher than Georgie considering the overall. But it just proves that I just got him for 64k and 68k. He's already up to 80k because people actually realize how OP this card is. Now, would you would you make a lot of MT sniping off this filter? I would say so. And also, you could hop on the Georgie Mercy filter. This card is very good too. He is 7'7". He cannot really shoot. But for the price of 47k, he's 7'7", bro. If you guys remember what happened to Manu Bowl, he went up a lot. Personally, in my opinion, if you're going to rock with a card, I would say Manu Bowl is definitely better than Georgie. Manu Bowl is 7-7. Seven, seven. He could shoot threes. He's literally incredible. But, yo, those two snipe filters are definitely going to be key. These are insane snipe filters right now. While they're impacts, man, I would definitely recommend you definitely try it out. And also, the Opal filter, as per usual, if you want to do enabled, sometimes enabled does work. But, uh, oh, it looks like the market crashed. Oh, that's big. That is so big. I think the market might have just crashed. Let's see. Um, it looks like the two-minute mark has been destroyed. We're about to check out because if you see, there's opal trays and stuff up there for not too long. So let's see if the market did die. It looks like the hour maybe it died. I don't know. It might have died. Hopefully it dies soon because I have 590k waiting to spend, man. I want to get these snipes. If we get these snipes, bro, we get Shaq for 500k. We're going to have Shaq for the low. And honestly, we get Shaq for the low. That's such a W. We're going to bid on that Shaq right there. I'm pretty much just going to sit here all day and try to make MT off the auction house glitch. If you're on from now till 7 o'clock, it's only a matter of time before the auction does crash. When it does crash, how are you going to make a lot of MT? It's very simple. 
Um, this is probably gonna be the best method to make MT period. I like going through Center Galaxy Opal. First off, you need a lot of MT to do this, but you also do it with Pink Diamond. So if you have low MT under 100K, this is what I'm gonna tell you guys to do. So first off, let me show you these Snipe Filters real quick because there are diamonds in the packs. Um, diamond Filter has honestly been destroyed by the new locker code that we did get. So 3,100 on the Chauncey, you're gonna go lower. So Diamond Filter's gonna be pretty cool. If you wanna invest in Michael Ray Richardson's, it's not a bad idea because he's actually a pretty good card. But uh, yeah, Diamond Filter's gonna be met the money method and also. So here it is. The auction has glitch. You want to bid between cards between the hour mark, I would say, and about the two hour mark. Now, if the market house crashes and I get these shacks for this price, I'm going to make about, I would say, 200,000 plus MT clean unless he does sell for more. So these cards also have the shoes on them, which gives them an even better three point shot. So now, if I end up getting Shaq for this price, like I said, I'm going to make over 200,000 MT that easy. Yes, you definitely need a lot of MT. So what I recommend doing is honestly bidding on some of these pink diamonds, possibly point guard Giannis, possibly Kawhi, possibly Luel Dang, whatever you have the MT for, between the hour and whatever mark. So what I would do is I would search through players. So like, all right, there's a ton of Robins. You want to go through something that's not too valuable, that has some value. Um, like maybe one of the Giannis's, possibly point guard Giannis. So point guard Giannis, power forward Giannis, whatever you could do. So what I would do is probably scroll over to 50 minutes or whatever, bid on this Giannis if I had enough MT and just hope for the best. That's what I've been doing throughout the hour. Once you get outbidded, you get your MT back and do the same thing. That is going to be the best way to make MT right now and obviously sniping out these cards. Now, to make MT for a budget baller, it's going to be easy. Right now, bro, Nick Young filter is going to be incredible because he's an amethyst. Kids are going to pull him in every other pack. Um, people who pull boxes are definitely going to pull him in every other pack. So with this card going for this cheap, at 4,000 MT, it's going to be perfect. Like 3,600, that's a snag. He'll probably go even cheaper. He'll probably go down to like 2K. But if you guys think about it, if you get this card, let's say every second, this card's gonna pop up almost every second. If you can get two of these every second and make 1,000 MT, you're gonna make so much money. Cause this Nick Young is a very good card. He's an amethyst that could shoot like a pink diamond. What makes you think this card won't pop up? It was the same with the Mo Bamba. If you guys remember, they dropped Flash Mo Bamba impacts and he was pulling up every second. Now, if I got that card for 3,600, I could have sold them for 4,500 made a solid 500 MT in one second. Also, if I got the 3,900 MT, I could have made 1,000 MT in one minute. It's just, how quick are you going to be on these snipes? So I just missed it. I usually put my, oh, I'm bugging. I got to put my maximum bid over the maximum buyout and then cards will pop up. So right there for 4,400, that's not really a snipe. All I'm saying is if you want to invest, you got to get him for a really low price around 1 to 2K because he might drop a little bit. So this is really just for now. If he drops, you're going to make even more. You're going to make more MT off investment wise. But right now, this isn't really a good investment, I would say. Like, as you can see, a ton just got posted. 3,900. It looks like his 4,000 is his new base value. So you kind of want to just regulate the market for this time being with the Nick Young. He's going to pop up a lot. His price is going to drop up a lot. His price is going to go up and down. It's very non-steady all oh, right there that's a snipe and we missed it so as you can see man someone's on the filter whoever got that card is going to make 3000 mt that quick so literally in what two minutes of me explaining this filter i could have made about 5k mt very easily and very fast it's just that simple you just got to be quick with the pace sometimes you're going to miss cards sometimes you're going to not it depends it really all depends but honestly nick young filter coutinho mobley if you want to rock him because he's actually a good card even though he is 6'4 that kind of does destroy the value of his card. 6'4 is not really a deadly height. But um, Coutinho Mobley is already around 4K. You could possibly invest in, um, you could invest in him. Like 3,100, I missed that one. But what you could see is, bro, as you can see, the Nick Young and the Coutinho Mobley are going to make you thousands and thousands of MT. And I really do recommend you guys try this out. And especially if you do want to do the Prime Filter, you want to do all this Prime stuff, definitely try out these filters. These are going to be money, money filters. I would always recommend doing the max bid and all that good stuff. But yeah, dude, this Eddie Curry is legit. The Eddie Curry is so OP. and It's crazy how good he is. If you didn't see the gameplay, make sure to go check it out. To be completely honest, that's really all I got for the video. I just wanted to get some snipe filters, snipe tips, empty methods out for you guys. But yeah, I would definitely recommend selling your cards. And if you can, invest in Nick Young and Coutinho Mobley. Without further ado, man, that's all we got for the video. Fourth video done. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one. Peace.